Can you guys hear me? Oh, oh my god, that shit's so loud. Jesus fuck. Oh boy. Yeah, you guys, let's let's beggy. Let's. I, I want a goddamn beggy. Fuck. What's up, guys? There we go. Cool. I think that should be good. I know. I apologize for the glare. What's up, guys? This is Recon. Help, help. Thank you so much for checking me out today. It has been. Oh God, I don't know how long it's been. It's been such a long time since I've been streaming. Um, am I getting the goddamn sound right? Okay. I hope I turned it down. Oh yeah. That waves. Okay. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. <sighs> I've been doing so much goddamn, uh, what is it called? Uh, I've been doing finals and everything, but it's nice to be back. It's good to be streaming. I'm back on regular schedule. Today, like I said, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube today. The only reason I'm doing it is because today is the Sony press conference. I don't want to hear any goddamn messages. That is a no. But uh, we're going to be streaming um, some Berserk for you guys. And then when it hits around 6 o'clock, we're going to be going to the Sony press conference. We're going to be checking out what's going to be going on with Sony. Uh, from, so, from what we know so far, Xbox has said a lot during their conference. Uh, very surprising compared to how it was last year. Um, Resident Evil 2 hype, man. Uh, so we got Devil May Cry 5. Uh, what else do we have? Nier Automata is actually going to be coming on the Xbox One. Battletoads, Cyberpunk 2077. Really excited for that. Apps, God, I've been waiting for five goddamn years. Uh, there's only so much more that could happen. Um, this is cool so far. Uh, for today's Square Enix conference, it didn't look like there was too much. But for people who were interested, uh, Just Cause 2 as well. Like you said, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You know, I'm not too much of like a Tomb Raider fan, but I, I appreciate it when I see it. But um, like I said, you guys want to see some gameplay. I'm going to show you what's up. What's up, Nabil Islam? I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much for coming by, dude. We're going to be streaming some Berserk today. And then after that, we're going to be streaming some goddamn Sony press conference. Let me switch it for you guys. I think you guys want to see what's going on. There we go. Cool. Oh, wait. Let me turn off the music. Cool. I think that should be good. I'm happy for your return in Just Cause 4. Oh, yeah, that's right. The main character's name is Rico, so... Let me turn on the music from the TV. Hell, yeah. All right. I I've been wanting to play some... Berserk for a long time, long time. I've, I've been wanting to honestly stream this for for a while. Let me see. I think that should be cool. There we go. All right. Ooh, would you look at that? All right, so, like, sign. Oh, the, the fucking sign thing is just so fucking great. I love it so much. Yeah, the Enix conference was shit. Shadow was all they had going for them. Yeah, they kind of really kept their cards close, but not surprising considering that Kingdom Hearts um, you know, how it was going. It, it, it really sucks though, but it is what it is. And did I read the latest Berserk chapter? I actually didn't. Um, I will say there was reason I didn't read it. And uh, one, uh, the man who actually does a lot of the uh, current translations, uh, Tritium Decay, follow him on Twitter. He's a really cool guy, but he does the current translations. Uh, one, I was in final, so I couldn't read it at the time. Two, um, what was going on with that is that the chapter is just really, really short. I could have made a video, but at the same time, I was looking at it and I'm like, it's only, it's literally like, what, 17 pages, but it's all just really nice panel art, which is cool, though. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not, like, bashing it or anything, but it, it's just more really nice art. That's the only reason why I didn't read it. Alright, so it looks like, so if you guys don't know, this is in the Millennium Falcon arc, uh, right after... Ooh. Okay, so this is something that obviously wasn't in the manga. They added it specifically for the game. It's pretty cool because you can... I mean, I, I could say it, but I don't want to. You'll find out. Let's see. They wasted time announcing near getting an Xbox port. Yeah, it's just more of the same. But like I said, my, uh, Square Enix was playing close to their chest. Which is not surprising. They They tend to do that a lot. 
I'm assuming undubbed version. No, uh, what this is, so I'm actually playing this off my PS1. I have a modded PS2. I'm, I'm sorry, I have a modded PS2. So I'm not technically playing it off the disc. I basically ripped the disc with the patch, put it on the hard drive, and it's able to read it. That's the only way I'm able to play it on the console. Until I have like a test PS2 or something, which would be fucking great if I could get one, but those are kind of expensive. Final Fantasy VII should be at Sony. They have it timed. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Do not expect Seven to come out this year. Like, info. Don't ex... Oh, okay. Can now you uh, use Fairy Dust. I have to use Fairy Dust on myself. Go after the mysterious figure. Okay, well... Give me a sec. Let me familiar... Okay, cool. So... Let's see, square was to kind of to dash. Light hat, light attacks. X is to defend. It's kind of to do straight shots like that. It... There we go. I can't really wait to kind of power a couple things up. Oh, it's not coming this year, but still in episodes. Oh, I know it's not coming out this year. But even then, I'm... Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah. Do you think the Berserk anime will come back? You know? Ugh, ugh, the Berserk anime. Boy. You know, I know a lot of people aren't excited for it to come back. Like I said, I did make a video a while back that was saying, you know, maybe it'll be really good. And I had a lot of faith for it, but then it just went... Ugh. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. If they don't make it, I'm fine with that. I think we've had enough of it. God, I, I, I know what he's saying. I don't, I don't know too much Japanese, so really understand that. Which is a goddamn shame. Oh, I forgot about this scene. It's been a bit. It's been a cool minute since I've like thoroughly played this. I want my final spear game, Rico. I mean, we're not gonna get that either. Whatever Square Enix says, it'll never come out, dude. And I really love how they take the manga art and just do that. Funny, I just finished a review for this game, then this was on. Whoops! I did a thingy. Uh, no, but thank you for coming, man. You're gonna you're gonna really enjoy this. This game's a lot of fun. It's really it's it's fun as hell. It's it's definitely a step up, like I said, from the Dreamcast version. It's it's goddamn rock solid. Okay. Oh. Sashiburi da. Judo. And they spell judo wrong. Judo. Oh, Pippin. Pippin and Corcus. Oh, they're dead, but they're gonna come back alive. Oh, you guys are gonna like this. This act this fight was actually kind of interesting. He had a tough journey. Ooh. What's your favorite arc apart from the Golden Age? Um, okay, here's the thing. Golden Age, I don't like it. Like, Golden Age is a cool foundation, but it is definitely not my favorite. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with Millennium Falcon arc. You know, when he gets the, um, when he gets the Berserker armor, that was beautiful. Just the execution, the art and everything, and then going against Grunbell. That was just fantastic. Like, through and through. Honestly, I, I loved it so goddamn much. God, I loved it. Yeah. The armor's sick. It, it, it's so beautifully designed and the way it kind of like contorts to his body and like his inner, how, how he feels inside. It's, it's just absolutely wonderful in, in every single way. So I'm excited. Like, like, 
like j just going through that part and I, I want to see how it how it looks like in the game and stuff there we go I kind of recognize Pippin's voice actor I don't remember Pippin Oh, he, now he got pissed. You don't fight for Griffith, my dudes. All right, here we go. So as you would expect it. This game is actually pretty difficult. To be honest, this game is pretty goddamn difficult. Even on like normal difficulty, like it can actually, ooh. Oh shit, dude. This runs so much better than on emulator. Thank- Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so much better. Beautiful. Band of assholes. Thank you. Yo, my boy! Beautiful! There we go. Ooh. Alright, Pippin is gone. We still got a duo. God, this really does look good on PS2, despite, you know, uh, thingies, I guess you could say, but. Okay, let me see. Let's drop a bomb. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, he's pissed. There we go. P beautiful. He knows how to defend. Christ. Beautiful, come on. Uh... Lever Channel, man, you're one of my favorite YouTube YouTubers that talk about Berserk. Well, you flatter me, dude. Thank you. I, I greatly appreciate that, man. I still feel like I have such a long way to go before I get to um, how I think it should be. But even then, I'm still very content. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, things go well. But thank you, dude. That, that honestly means a lot to me. And I'll try to make sure to keep making more content as much as possible. Ooh, he can bum rush like that? Hell the fuck yeah. Ooh. Okay, I kind of feel bad for Corcus now. Like, he's getting goddamn demolished. Yeah, he, he got fugged. Like, dude got fugged hard. I'm so, I feel so bad for him. Let's see. Oh no. Now here we go, pretty much. Mate doshte. Yeah, so pretty much like I said, that part wasn't in the manga, of course, but... And then it vamooshed. Yeah. I take that seriously if Corcus wasn't saying it. Rico, Rico, uh, three Yakuza games coming to the PC. I do know one thing. Yakuza 0 is going to be coming on PC. I'm so fucking happy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if 6 is coming out in Kiwami. Those are like the three latest ones. So, that doesn't surprise me. And it's good that it's coming on PC. It deserves to be on PC. Alright, Puck is back in the party. Um, fuck. I actually need Puck to heal me. Masa did it. Alright, there we go. Coming to Zero coming to PC, Kiwami, and then Valkyria. Wow, Valkyria Chronicles. That's actually pretty damn cool. I'm happy. Sega's been killing it. Like, like, not gonna lie, Sega's been really killing it. 
And and I can't wait until uh, the Fist of the North Star game is actually going to come out. Oh, I hate these trees so goddamn much. Finally get to play. I'm telling you, dude, you can finally play Yakuza. I mean, you could have already. And I've been telling you for months. Actually, no. You know what? Not even. I'm telling you goddamn full-fledged year. Okay, yeah, I fucking hate these trees so much. Because the thing is, not not only do they barricade you, but they actually kind of bring you back. I don't like that at all. Christ. Don't sass me. I, w I was waiting for a definitive version. PS4 is still definitive. I mean, it runs at 1080 at 60 frames. Unless you really are, like, desperately going for 4K, dude. Like... It's still worth getting on PS4. What do you think about Jump Force? Oh, that's right! I forgot about Jump Force! Ugh. Oh. Yeah, Jump Force is looking pretty fucking good, dude. I, I, I mean, it looks hyper-realistic in an anime sense, but like to see Luffy and... Um, I'm, I'm a huge One Piece fan. I love One Piece. Uh, I didn't read Naruto. I'm fine with Dragon Ball. I, I mean, Dragon Ball is cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a big fan like everyone is. So, but I'm excited to see, especially for the One Piece guys. And for Star Killer, how do you think about the most recent Berserk game? I didn't actually play it. I don't want to play it. I lost my coaster, but I don't. I I genuinely don't want to play it. Like I, Dynasty. Well, I wouldn't say that. I don't want to spend twenty dollars on it. I mean, I don't want to spend like forty dollars on it when it's still. It does it. The thing about those kind of games, like Musou games, like Dynasty Warrior games, is that they're they don't have a lot of fluff to them. That's my overall problem. Not gonna be able to stick around during Sony because of Row, but I'm chilling here until then. I appreciate it, dude. You get that Row coverage, and I'm pretty sure when RE2 drops, you're gonna be fucking ape shit. All of us are. I'm I'm excited to see RE2 footage. There we go. I still really like that they have those little inner monologues. Like, this game actually is very well done in that regard. This probably still is one of the best Berserk games you can get. Hands down. So, I would recommend the import. I know, I'm gonna go apeshit. Finally, a game I want. It's not Parasite Eve, but it'll do. I think you're a little too modest there. It's not the game I want, but it'll do, Lassie. Okay. So this is the first chapter I did, Zero, that... Oh, you can find Spriggans. I haven't found any Spriggans. Who's messaging me? Let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Let me check my Twitter feed for a sec. Alright. Funny you say Lassie. I'm working with a Scottish person. Oi, Lass. Okay, so we finished these two. We finished chapter two. I forgot how many chapters were in this game. It's quite a bit from what I hear. So that's the next one that I have to do. So get the little Spriggans. Spriggans pretty much are like little balls of EXP. Get them as much as you can. That way you get to do what... Oh. Isoloro. What's your prediction about the Berserk ending? <sighs> Dude. Like, I, I could say what I think it is. But I'm going to be honest with you. That's a really, really tough say. Because I still don't feel like we're anywhere even close to the end. Like, we still got a long way to go before that. We still got to finish the elf arc. We still got to find out what's going on with Guts. It does feel like it it is gearing up a bit. We know what's going on with Griffith and his crusade. But other than that, like, we still got to find out what's going on. We still don't know too much, honestly. So from there... You know, it can, it can go in any direction. I still feel like before I can make a decent prediction, we can we need context. And like that that's like saying what would the ending for One Piece be? Because One Piece actually has a skeleton of what the ending is going to be like. But even then, we still have a long way to go. It's like that sort of thing. So, we we still got quite a bit
I want to suck your pee pee. Oh, guts, Chan. Fuck. Also, I curse a lot, so. I'm sorry. I, I'm not really sorry. I, this is what I do in real life, actually. Yeah, your order was pretty damn shitty. Enslaving people, killing people, because they don't believe what I believe. For the for God and country. Oh, I got Ori on sale. Dude, Ori. I need to get Ori. I would love to play Ori. Okay, Nasai. It's fucking cool, bro. I, I I I I can't wait to try Ori one day. Ooh, it's only nine dollars. I don't feel like spending nine dollars. I'm so, like, when it comes to digital games, I'm so goddamn cheap. You, you wouldn't even believe. I think I have like fifty games on Steam, and I haven't bought any of them. Like. You'll never sleep when you come around me. I think I'm putting down the donuts and coffee. Mm. See, but that's the thing. I don't... Okay, I've had a little bit too much sweets lately, so I'm going to cut down. But coffee, I'm not a coffee guy, actually. Although I did spend $10 on cake pops yesterday, which were really fucking good. Uh, no I. So it looks like we're going to meet... I think the chapter is that we're going to meet someone. I don't know the kanji for that. I just know the kanji at the end. Farnese was so hoping that something other than the demons. Oh, I was making a fat joke, by the way. Really? Oh, shit. My bad. Okay. Um, Farnese was hoping... Oh, she, she wanted a big demon. Boy. Daijobu Janai. That's what I say. Just remember, folks. We are never Daijobu, okay? No one is. Jesus. Alright, so let's save the game. Uh, I don't know how many experience points I got right now. I think I got like a decent amount. But uh, um, my point right now is to kind of increase the speed of my swing. So like I said, if you guys watch the review I did, there's a lot that you can do. Sword speed is probably one of the best things you can get. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. I still have a long way to go. Sword speed is really what's going to help you a lot, especially with this game. Uh, endurance, Berserk. I probably will do that at some point, but... There we go. It's nice, too, that it has a little gallery, so if, like, there's something that you're not too entirely sure of. This game does a nice job of keeping you updated and, and catching up, so I really appreciate that. Here come the demons. Let's see. Uh, what do you think of the Outlast games? Dude, uh, actually, I don't think you saw a while back. I actually, I think it was in October. I actually did stream Outlast 1 on PC. Which was a lot of fun. I really loved Outlast a lot. Honestly. So I, I would actually... It should be on this YouTube page. So check it out. It should be somewhere in there. But I'm not archiving my streams on this channel anymore. I made my own personal one. So the link should actually be in the description. To be honest. Oh my god. See, the funny thing was when I was recording footage for this game... I put it on the easiest difficulty just so I can, you know, blaze through it, record footage. But it's really difficult. Jesus. What do you mean, Doshta Nandayo? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, you mean Clock Tower? Yeah, I, uh, God. I really need to play Clock Tower. I want it. I really. Well, no, I have it. I have Clock Tower 1 and 2. guess if anything, I need Haunting Grounds. I don't have Haunting Grounds. Jesus. Okay, yeah, see, so the Sword Swing actually helps a lot. So that's why we need to start upgrading this. And enemies... 
Like, they spawn immediately. I know you have haunting grounds. Oh, I know you do. Who's your favorite apostle? That's another hard one, too. Um, What's his name? I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry. I know I'm going to fucking butcher this. Um, Guy with the crossbow. I forgot his name. But I really love him. He's just a very stoic star character but the thing about him is that he has a lot that's going on i think there, there's something i don't know there's something about his personality that i like a lot so he he's definitely one of my favorite oh the drag oh, okay so the dragon guy is grunveld grunveld is is nuts hammer boy i actually haven't read the grunveld manga yet which would be nice i that that's one of the ones that i haven't read yet maybe at some point There we go. Beautiful. Oh, he's a giant. Yeah, Grunbell is actually pretty huge. I'm actually curious what his height is going to be. I don't know his height, to be honest. That would be nice to know. Alright, I gotta get the crossbows all the way up there. Because they're, they're going to probably stagger me. Oh, boy, here we go. Alright, come on. Oi, Matagatsu. It's funny, too, because this game doesn't give you health items. Puck is pretty much your health item until, you know, he recovers and everything. All right. Dude, when Guts gets pissed. Yeah, I don't want it for too long. All right. Heal me, Pucky. Pucky the ducky. All right. There we go. I really hate these ghosts. I don't know if they can possess you, actually. I feel like they could. Because I know these are the ghosts that actually possess you in the month. They look like they could, too. Let's see. How much... Oh, wow. I got a lot of experience so far. There we go. Ooh, mama boy. Yeah, that's the thing. I guess on the harder difficulties, it, it does take a little longer to kind of traverse through the levels. Which makes sense, considering there's a lot more enemies. Spawn points are probably a lot more. And, yeah. It's definitely challenging. Guts is a nice character, one of my favorites. He went through his life since he was born. Yeah, pretty much since he was born... He's always been struggling. I think... You know, he has grown up with a lot of anger. Which, you know, makes sense. He he was not dealt with the best hand in the world. However, it seems to be like in current chapters, he's been a lot more calmer and controlling of his anger. And he's trying to figure out how he can trust those around him as well as trust himself. Oh, God, this combat is great. Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm supposed to keep going straight. There we go. Let's see. Unubo. Yeah, here come the undead. I mean, what do you think they're doing? Boy, they're coming for me. I think we got him.
We got him. It's... We can defeat him more. One thicky man. And it, and his thicky. So <laughs> oh my god. Fucking Isidro. Uruse! Alright, here we go. Alright, let, let's get some goddamn rage. Oh my god. Beautiful. This rage is great. Yeah, this is why we need to get gain mastery of the sword, just because his swings can get better. We still got a long way. I think we need 45. We got, what, like 15? So goddamn satisfying, man. Okay, do you think there will be more characters to join Guts? Well, we do have a more characters than, you know, what we currently have, like, literally at the moment. Give me one sec. I'll answer that for you. Well, you know, we have Ro Rodrigo. And then we have a couple of the shipmates, too. Like, they, they've really been helping Guts a lot on his journey. That's another thing, too. Other than that, like, who knows what could happen from here? Uh, I don't think anyone from Elf Island is going to join. Although we do have some of the mages that were introduced. But there's no point in putting two mages in the in the group. So, well, I, I guess to be fair, Farnese is turning into a mage. Considering that she's starting to learn how to actually use magic. Jesus, these guys are just... Cool. Okay. You need to stop, cross boy. Okay. Beautiful. Jesus. Uh, is this actual disc on PC? Um, no, no. It's not on disc. This is actually using official hardware. Actually, my PS2 is right here. My PS2 controller is here. Now, the thing is, is that... Um, I modded my PS2 where it can actually boot off of the hard drive. I have my disc copy over here. So what I did, I ripped the disc and I put a patch on top of it. And right now it's reading the patch in there, if that makes sense. So that's why you can see it in English. Obviously, the official the official uh, thing won't play and I don't have a region free PS2. So for me, as of now, this is the current, it's, this is the best it's gonna look. And this is the best the PS2 is going to output, so... The good, the nice thing is that... I, I'm very happy how it looks. It, it, it just plays so much nicer than on PC. Then again, when I was recording it, my PC was not the best. That, which is another thing. Come on. Beautiful. Do you think something big, um, do you see, uh, I can't read, Jesus. Do you think something big is on the way as too much good is going on in Berserk? Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. What is, there's a specific word for that. Um, when you're still worried about what could happen, you know, like, you know, there's too much happiness going on, yet you kind of feel like something's going to pull out under the rug. I mean, who knows, dude? M Muira has his own intentions yet we don't know anything about him just it's i still i still find that weird after how long he's been making berserk it, it we still don't know too much about it on rodrigo uh do you think he's been dropping some death flags lately or it's just per persona per, uh, well persona uh berserk paranoia uh d describe death flags because to be honest we haven't seen rodrigo in a very long time think about what a year and a half since he's actually not only been mentioned, but shown. Because that was probably before they went into Casca's consciousness. Jesus Christ, how many of guys do these guys will have to defeat? And how's Guts not tired? It, it, still kind of, it still drives me nuts. Alright. 
There we go. Okay, thank you for the explanation. And do you think it's uh, it's better than the new PS4? Okay, I can tell you this. One, I have not played the PS4 game. That that's one that's one thing I can tell you hands down. Uh, two, I do know it's a Musou game. I do not like Musou games because they get repetitive very very quickly, and there's little to no progressional options to it. So I have not played it. I personally think this is better because it is a stricter storyline where it just follows up till the beginning the beginning ish of the millennium falcon arc all the way to the grun belt fight which is nice so you do know there's a nice constant um beginning and end to it and it just feels a little bit more substantial um i personally prefer this i would say get this i'm having a lot of fun with this one Let's see, a few chapters ago, but a long time ago, he said, if I were to die, I should be drowned at sea, in wine, or with women. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I appreciate you put the exact quote, too. I mean, anything could happen at this point. I don't know. At, at the same time, it, it's... Maybe... Moira does like to foreshadow. So we don't know if, like, this is a foreshadowing that he can do. But who knows, man? Maybe this is something pretty good. We'll see. But other than that, let's see what's good, man. It, it, it's hard for me to say. Like, I don't know. It could be a foreshadowing for all I know. <laughs> Fucking you see, though. He, he's a goddamn troll. Jesus. Ugh. Usatsuki. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so it's Usatsuki. Oh, that means liar. Oh, okay, that's what Usatsuki means. Alright, let's get a little bit of healing in here. Yeah, he- wow, he- Alright, all- wow, all my gauges have been filled. Hell the fuck yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, we got fucked up doggies. There we go. Oh, uh, you started streaming on YouTube now? Um, oh, no, Crimson. The only reason that I'm streaming on YouTube today is only for the Sony press conference. That's literally the only reason why. If anything, I... I'm gonna go back on Twitch like next week, but but today's the only like I because of the Sony press conference. That's the only reason I'm doing it. I know on Twitch it wouldn't do too much. It's I think for like something like this, it's better that I do it on YouTube. That's the only reason why, man. How are you, Krimi? I miss you, and I love you. I really love you. Actually, ah, uh, yeah, that's the only reason. But yeah, uh, are you are you going? Yeah, you're going Saturday, right? Are you going to Saturday to Joey's? Ew. Good. That's the exact response I'd expect from you. Oh, of course. Good. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I think now that I have a lot more free time. Do you want to start doing Fire Emblem next week? Because we, we should start streaming Fire Emblem again. I really missed that. Plus, you pissed me off, so we should do that. Oh, have you been watching the conferences? Okay. Good. Okay, so I didn't see any conferences at all. Like, none of them. Just because I didn't have a moment to see it. Um, I do know what's coming out. From what I hear, Microsoft... Well, Microsoft did good regardless. Because last year was pretty... Eh. They said they had a bunch of exclusives, but they really didn't. But in terms of reveals, Microsoft did a lot of good for us. And I'm very happy. So with Cyberpunk 27, 2077, I am glad that Nier Automata is getting a nice port. So that's pretty cool. Um, Ori in the Blind Forest. Was it Blind Forest? But it's nice to see an Ori. I, I'm... I want to... I really want to play that game. Ooh, it's Spriggan. 
Oh, and 3,000. Hell yeah. But, um, I didn't see the Square Enix conference. I heard it was garbage anyway, considering that they played it goddamn safe. Of course they would. That doesn't surprise me at all. But I, I, I guess we'll see, man. I, I, I always get excited for Sony's press conference cause just because, like, they actually do a lot of reveals. So that makes me happy. So, I, I don't know, man. I, I really hope we get something good. Jesus, fuck off, dude. Yeah, YouTube is being mean and not letting me chat. Wait, is it... Does it have, like, a 20-second buffer on it? I really hope not. Because that's going to be retarded. There's probably a reason why a lot of people don't YouTube stream. Yeah, I think so. Ugh. God, really? I mean, I, if you want, I can check to make sure that it's not doing that. I hope it's not doing that, because if it is, I'm going to be really mad. That's really retarded. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get in conversation and stopping me. T telling me I need a break. Wait, what the fuck? YouTube doesn't know me. It's not my mom. You're right. YouTube shouldn't be telling anyone that I'm your daddy. Is that, like, I I'd be... Like, could you imagine your daddy being YouTube? Like, that would honestly really suck. I'm interested in Shadows Die Twice. I don't think I've actually heard of, um, Shadows, uh, Shadows Twice. Also, I'm going to call you Post Malone from now on. I don't care that your name's Christian. It's Post Malone now. I'd call Child Services Jesus Crimson Come Down. <laughs> Fuck. Crimson, you're a horrible son. Don't don't do that to your daddy, YouTube. You gotta follow those restrictions. You gotta pay attention, my guy. God, that's so bad. Oh, it's from software's uh uh like Dark Souls. Oh wait, wait, wait. So is that the Japan style one? Not obviously it's not Neo, but is that the Japan style from software game? Because if it is, that looks cool. But the question is. Oh. Was solid, but exclusive IP was meh. I mean, Microsoft doesn't know what an IP is, or an exclusive IP is, so that's okay. It's, it's, may, maybe one day a little more. But I have to go now. I enjoy the live stream. Have a nice day and keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I'm gonna try my best to do whatever, um, to, you know, keep doing whatever the hell I do. I don't know what I do. I know. But yeah, it, like, overall, Microsoft had a solid conference. It's not the first time I've been called him, so I'm fine with that. Good. But, um... Yeah, Sony's was solid. Square Enix was pretty shitty. Vesperia dis... Wait, cr but Crimson, Vesperia was actually announced weeks ago, though. Like, it, it was kind of leaked. I, I, I thought you knew about that. Because Vesperia was announced like that a while back. But, no, I'm happy. I, I would buy Vesperia. I'm gonna buy Vesperia, but I think I'm... Like, I would prefer to buy that on a Switch, though. Phoenix was the epitome of shit. I mean, like like I said, Square just loves to play it safe right now. I was waiting for definitive conversation confirmation. That's fair. No, no, I, I agree with you. Especially these days where everyone's like, Oh my god, did you hear about these leaks? No, I, I, I agree. It's nice. It's really nice to get official confirmation when we can, you know? Jesus, dude, this guy is nuts. Now that, I, now that it, this actually plays, Christ. Beautiful, there we go. But no, yeah, it's... 
I don't know, man. I'm hoping for something good. Uh, we still got Sony and Nintendo's press conference. I'm really hoping Nintendo does, does not crap out and play it safe again. I hate it when they do that. Want more footage on Metroid Prime 4? So hype when it was announced. Getting it multi-plat from Namco Bandai. Everyone online was going nuts. Dude, the fact that it's coming on the Switch makes me so happy. Like, that's so cool. I'd fucking love to play Vesperia on the go. That is fantastic. Actually, I really need to get more into Tails games, so... I honestly should do that. Oh my god, I'm staggered like crazy. There we go. There we go. I'll get a little healing in here. But no, dude. God, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I really need to get a Switch soon. Do you have a favorite One Piece game? You know... I'm not gonna lie. I haven't played as many One Piece games as I'd like to. Not because, obviously, I hate them, but like... But, like, I, I just haven't done that. Oh, Crimson, I think someone leaked Lilat Wars, or... What what was it called? Not Star Wings. Star... Someone someone posted it, but it's it's a new Star Fox game. Which is actually... Which looks pretty cool. Oh my god, we gotta go to the other camps? I hate this kind of backtracking. But yeah, I, I don't know if I have a favorite One Piece game. Like, I can't really say because I haven't, like, really ventured into One Piece in terms of games. I've played, like, I'm st well, I guess manga-wise, I'm still, like, a year behind. Ubisoft collab with Nintendo for their new IP Starlink. Oh, okay, okay, so Starlink is the new Star Fox game, right? But, I ah. But I'm actually really happy to see that Nintendo's collabing with major IPs with different companies. That that makes me happy. It's a, it's almost like it kind of relieves the tension off from their backs, and I think they need that. New Fox, is, oh, New Fox is guest character. Oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna, ch oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna check out new. Um, I'm gonna check out it. Check out the trailer. See how it is. Sega's been killing it though, with a lot of the ports for Yakuza. And then the new Fist of North Star game that's coming out, localized. I'm happy. We're getting a lot of good stuff so far. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk to the other camps because this is fucking nuts. I'm not gonna fight all these. Yeah, Crush 40 is doing the music for to Sonic Team Racing. I did hear that too, so that makes me really happy. Really happy. Uh, I'm hoping we'll see what it's good. Uh, what do you think of Devil May Cry 5? Um, one, I hate to say that I haven't played Devil May Cry before. I really hate to say that. But I haven't. It looks pretty cool. Like, in, in terms of, like, from what everyone's been telling me, that uh dante is old now and we're gonna be playing as nero so that's interesting other than that i don't know if the gameplay is supposed to be contemporary if it's like i i don't know anything about the series so it's it's hard for me to have an opinion in that let's see any manga or anime that you would recommend to a berserk fan um let's see it's harder for me to recommend anime and manga because I'm not as heavy as I as I am that as in games. I can try to do what I can, so I apologize if it's not as good as it could be. Um, so if you're coming for Berserk, you're expecting like gritty. I don't know. Um, Crimson, actually, you, you're the one who knows a lot better than I do. Do you know what what would be a good one to recommend? I. It's hard because I feel like Berserk is almost a category of its own. I don't know many many manga. Oh, maybe Vagabond. I have heard about Vagabond. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Vagabond Vinland Saga. Yeah, I do know that Vagabond is is is, is a samurai type of story. I don't know too much about it. Oh, I do know this. My friend Alex did recommend me this and it is it's not really Berserk, but it is 
somewhat dystopian uh look for doro hidoro it's actually a really awesome manga in every sense of the word it's got great art it's got great characters it's got a great story look up Dor Ho <laughs> doro hidoro i would highly recommend that hands down and then like crimson said uh vagabond vagabond is great from what i heard vinland saga other than that i don't really know too many so i i apologize Oh boy. Yeah, I need to start getting into a little more manga. I've been reading a lot of Junji, Junji Ito lately, which which is really fun to read. I I love that a lot. Yeah, I heard of Blade of the Immortal is pretty good, similar to Berserk. <sighs> Blade of the Immortal. It sounds slightly familiar, but I can't say that I recognize it. Um, so I can't. I don't know personally about that. Definitely, like we said, Vagabond is great. Doro Hidoro, I've read, what, about 50 chapters of that? And I loved it. I love Doro Hidoro. So I would highly recommend that. Um, yeah, it, you got a lot there. Like, those three actually... Th those three are actually quite a bit. Alright, let's get some goddamn rage in here. Beautiful. Oh, th thanks for the recommendations. No problem. Thank Crimson too, because, like I said, I'm not as. Um, I'm not. Uh, what is it called? I'm not like too into it as, or not too into it. I don't know as much as like Crimson as my friend, but. But yeah, definitely, he he's one of the better people to talk to. Hands down. Dude, oh my god. I'm starting to get messages about E3 now, Jesus. Oh, I saw I also got invited to the E3 after show. Dude, that's pretty legit, man. Hopefully it goes well for you and for Ro. There we go. God, there's so many of these guys. Christ. Okay. Oh yeah, so many people swear by Kingdom too. Yeah, that's... Try try that, too. Oh, it's not Ro. Someone invited me for once. Whoa, dude. I mean... Are you gonna fly from Philadelphia all the... Or... Are you gonna f fly all the way over there to here? Oh, fuck! Give me a sec, actually. I think someone said uh, they're, they're gonna give me a Smash Brothers ticket for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a hell yeah here. Let's see. That's pretty cool. I'll be able to play Smash Brothers. I'm excited about that. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh my god, everyone's messaging me now, please. Oh yeah, you're going to the convention too, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I should be able to go in tomorrow and and everything, so that should be cool. The only thing is, like I said, it just sucks that I can't record footage, just because you can't... I'm not media, so I can't really do that, which sucks. Me did Bucky Fucking, fucking you see though. But no, yeah, it, it just sucks that I can't do recording. I hate that. I really, really do. Because I would love to do some recording if I can. Sneak peek, uh, Capcom picks. Yo, if I can, man, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to be, I know for sure, I'm going to be really busy. So I'll try my best to answer messages, but I know I'm going to be, like, really fucking busy. Okay. Oh, you don't have to, man. Just enjoy it. Yeah, I'll try my best to. Oh my god! Ramiro. Oh, actually, give me one sec. I have to send him my email. Give me... Okay, come on. Give me one sec. I, 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 sorry to put it on wait, guys, because... 
these couple days are going to be nuts. Oh, she's Prego, so you can't miss her. She flew. Oh, look for Lori from service. She'll be there. She's also Prego. You can't miss her. Yeah, someone is asking if I want to go early tomorrow, but I'm like, if they want to carpool, but they're the kind of people that are like really late, and I don't want to be laggy to this con. Oh, how's Ramiro? Where has the dude been? Last I saw him, um, I was passing by his place, and he always he was practicing his bow staff. That God, that sounds like fucking Ramiro. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen Ramiro in a while. If he's at con, like, I'm, I'm going to try to find him tomorrow. Oh, he said he can't make it tomorrow, but he's going to be at Con on Wednesday, so that's going to be nice. Okay. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Um... Okay, so you said that she's Prego, you can't miss her, she flew in from the UK. I mean, if she's down to meet me, I, I'd, I wouldn't mind to talk to her at all. That would actually be pretty cool. Definitely, I know you'd be happy to get a photo. Or uh, you, to see a photo from her. But yeah, if, if I find her, dude, I'll let you know. You gotta actually, how about this, show me a picture. I can rec- see, the thing about me, I, I know I can recognize people and I don't forget them. But I've- but I'm horrible with names, so... God, why is this game so fucking long? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. She's down for meeting anyone. It, um, I'd love for you to meet Survivor, bro. She's our team captain. I'll send you a pic on Facebook. Thank you, dude. Absolutely. I'll definitely check that out. We'll see what's good. Um, yeah, dude. Hopefully it all goes okay. Yeah, I I'm not dealing with these hoes. Fuck that. Wait in the wall. Oh, God. No. What the fuck is this? Oh. Just showed up. What's up? Riley Cord number 12. What's up, man? Thank you for coming, dude. Oh, I have to go the other side? Are you kidding me? Thank you for coming, man. I hope that it, I hope that things go well. But I uh, hope you're going to enjoy the stream. Uh, like I said, we're going to be playing a little bit of Berserk today. Uh, and the Sony press conference is going to be coming up in a little, in about an hour exactly. So as soon as that comes up, um, I'm going to probably set things up for the press conference. So we can do that all set. Dude, thank you, man. I think my, f my phone is vibrating, so that must be you. Thank you, dude. Actually, if anything, um... You should let her know that I'm going to be there, too. So it's not like, oh, who the fuck is this kid? You know. It... Beautiful. There we go. Okay, I, I slashed a little too early there. I see, just message her. Oh, dude, thank you, man. Also, I'm just wondering, is there, like, any lag or any kind of distortion? Uh, shame this game wasn't localized. I agree. I mean, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, there isn't demand. Now there is. Now, there, now I could definitely see demand. But there kind of is no point in doing this now. No lag nor distortion. Cool. That's that's all I was curious about. But um, I don't think there is any point in kind of localizing this now. Just because if they would make a Berserk game, they would probably do it on newer consoles. It would probably e be easier. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's it's kind of tough to say. I It would be nice, though. Though I will say, like I said, I know it is in Berserk. The Fist North Star game is actually going to be coming out, so. 
So that, I'm very happy. Even though I already have the Japanese copy. Actually, my copy is like right sitting over there. But I'm still going to get it though. Actually, the Japanese cover is absolutely sick. Alright, we got another camp coming up. Mayday. Fucking fuck. Mayday. Jesus. There we go. Oh, we rarely get a Berserk game. I need a new one in my life. Muso was alright. Getting double audio. Getting double audio sometimes, though. Picking up the TV. Okay, yeah, that's probably because my, um... My TV's a little loud. This picks it up. Pretty nuts. But... Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean, though. Kind of really does suck. Also, I don't have noise cancelling. I do have noise cancelling. Did I put that on XSplit? I don't remember if I put noise cancelling on that. I felt like I did. There we go. Come on. Yeah, I, I didn't get Musou either. I'm not a Musou fan. They get so repetitive quickly. And I just feel so bored every time I play a goddamn Musou game. Okay. Agreed. Yeah, that's pretty much why, dude. I hate to say it, but... I guess it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, you uh, you got you got me until 6:45 your time. Wait, 5. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got uh, a little less than 45 hours to s wow, 45 minutes to start setting up. So, I probably will be doing that. Yeah, isn't this a Muso game? Yeah, you're probably right, Crimson. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Got him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess because this kind of builds off the bones from the Dreamcast title. I will say this game has a little bit too much enemies. And I, when I was recording, I did record on, like, the, the the easiest difficulty just because I needed to blaze through it to record as quickly as possible. But, like, now that I'm playing on normal, it's kind of annoying. I could see this being more, like, for short bursts. Though, I really... Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, I know exactly what to do. There we go. Well, I oh God, I only got two. Never mind. God, if it was 50, 45 hours, I'd be gone. Okay. Yeah. Real talk, when are we going to get a, a, a our Berserk, oh my god, a Berserk boat simulator? Dude, I'd be so fucking down. Like, imagine the game just goes on for three years of you just watching a boat settle on a, on a fucking dock. And just, like, swimming. I, Dude, do you know how much I'd pay for that? And to Nadal Al Salah, what? God, I, I'm so sorry if I butcher that. But what's up, man? Thank you for coming, dude. Hope you're going to enjoy the stream. We're going to play a little bit of Berserk, and then we're going to be watching the Sony press conference. Usually, I would probably do this on Twitch, but because it's E3, I prefer to do it on my YouTube page. That's the only reason why. Yes, thank you.
All right, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to actually take a piss. I really need to take a piss right now. Um, okay. Give me a sec. I'll be back in, like, what, five minutes? I, I'm also a very quick pisser, so that's fine. Give me a sec. All right. There we go. You're going to see the music come on, and then you're going to hear a lot of doo-doo-doo. Alright, give me like, what, a little bit, I'll be back. Wait. Did I put it? There we go. Alright, cool. I'll be back in a sec, give me a sec. Sorry, we didn't get those ASMR mo noises. I tried. I mean, do you want those noises? I, I, can, I can do it, Crimson. I, I can do pss noises. Do you want pss noises? We can do that. Yeah. Do you play Resident Evil? If so, what is your favorite Resident Evil? Of course I play Resident Evil. Um, What is my favorite Resident Evil? Code Veronica. There we go. Code Veronica. I love, 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 love Code Veronica. I think it's... It's the definitive and best of, like, the older titles. That's one of my favorites. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. The, uh... What is it called? Thank you. I'm not gonna lie. The Code... Um... Code Veronica, you say? Yeah, Code Veronica is my favorite. And then the, the remake that they did. The remake is gorgeous. I love the remake wholeheartedly. Okay, uh, what games do you want to see teased at E3? Oh my god, please don't get me started. If you know me, hands down, like, if you know me, hands down, you know that I really love F-Zero. I've been wanting an F-Zero for 15 fucking years, and I'm not exaggerating. So happy. Yesterday, Cyberpunk 2077 was officially announced. We know it was already coming out. But, like, we finally got, like, confirmation, and I want it, and, oh, my God, I, I need it, and I'm so happy. So, I've been wanting that. Um, what else would I want? 
Um, SMT5, I want my SMT5. I want to know what's going on with it. I'm hoping that Atlas actually drops a bomb. Uh, let's see. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I mean, of course. You know, I, I can't really, like, I, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to go. But let's see. Riley says, what is your opinion on Puck right now? He's not really character anymore, which makes me sad because I enjoyed him during Black Ark to, to Conviction. I guess, well, when you think of it with some... Um, when it really kind of comes into some of these situations, you gotta you gotta realize a couple things. Berserk is balancing a lot of characters right now. So before it was just puck and guts, but now that you have you know Casca, Farnese, Serpico, Rodrigo, and you have basically the whole crew, um, they have to, you have to balance screen time with everything. So you're not gonna see as much puck, especially since his brothers are coming in. So, but th this is kind of a, n a normal thing. If you think about it, like, for example, let's say with One Piece. Uh, when One Piece started, you know, they kind of balanced characters out. But what I... The difference between One Piece is that Oda really knows how to balance characters out when they need to. He brings their personalities when they need to be brought out. But he does a, a decently nice balance and everything. Um, so hopefully we'll see, we'll see how that goes, you know. Um, when it comes to Berserk, like I said, it's a little bit different. Just because, uh, there are a lot of sides that we need to see for the story. And, you know, more of those sides actually involve characters. So, it's a little bit different in that regard. But I will say, one like, One Piece does that a lot better than Berserk. But I understand why Berserk doesn't do it. And can you do a Resident Evil 7 walkthrough? Um... What do you mean, Resident Evil 7 walkthrough? Oh, wow, wow, that's... I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if I do a walkthrough. Walkthroughs aren't my thing. Maybe I'd stream it, but... Yeah, walkthroughs aren't my thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wouldn't do a walkthrough. Um, I'd stream it, like I said. Oh, God, I still need so much just to get that. Oh, like gameplay. Yeah, I'd, I'd just stream it. Honestly, that that's as far as I'd go for RE7 currently. I have a lot more plans to do other videos, but for RE7, I can tell you definitively right now, I'm not having like a walkthrough anytime soon. I, I'm not even considering um, doing a playthrough. If you're going to see me stream though, Twitch is always the best place. Like I said, the only reason I'm doing this on YouTube is because E3 is coming up. So that's the only reason why. Yeah, that's my bro. High five. Yeah, it, it's my bad, dude. No, no, dude, dude, don't, don't be, don't feel bad at all. Like, like I said, I don't mind people giving me suggestions, but you know, I'm just telling you what I like, the direction I want to go for the channel, and like some of the current stuff that I do. Like, I, I prefer doing a little bit more of analysis, even though I know I'm not the best at analysis. I like doing them, and I want to improve on them. So, don't take what I say seriously. And it's, I'm a sarcastic one. You're a raunchy boy. That's the problem. But no, dude, don't don't feel bad in the slightest at all. Um, like I said, there's certain things that I do, certain things that I don't do. But yeah, pretty much. What's your reaction when Muida switched Griffith after what happened to Casca? He was world class troll. If he, he, I'm not gonna lie, it it kind of did piss me off a little bit just because, you know, we kind of finished off Casca. But at the same time, we we really needed that had to happen. Like, real talk, we needed that shift because we, we just barely finished what was going on with Casca and we don't know what's going on with the outside world. So in order for lore building to happen, Muira needed to do, go into Griffith's uh, outlook. I think that was a great thing he did. And I'm very happy he did that. As much as we would want to know about Casca. We're not a Berserk fan, nor did I play Berserk, but I like Devil May Cry 1. I need to play Devil May Cry. Actually, so... That's another thing, too. Oh, boy! Beautiful! You need to get out of a tight spot.
There we go. So out of curiosity, you Kingdom Hearts fan? Yo, of course I am. Of course I am. I'm not the biggest fan like a lot of people, like a lot of my friends I know. But boy, I love I do love me Kingdom Hearts. Actually, before 3 comes out, I'm going to be streaming that. So definitely look forward to that. But I do love Kingdom Hearts, absolutely. Actually, I do have the collector's edition for yeah, I'll, I'll just show you. Give me a sec. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna lie. Like when 2.5 dropped, and I saw that it had a little heartless plushie like this, I just had to. This is so adorable. Actually, you know, maybe I'll switch one of these guys for a heartless sometime. You know, j just for background stuff. But I do love my Kingdom Hearts. Like I said, not as much as most people, but I I am looking forward to the franchise now that we actually have a date. I'm excited. I I'm definitely excited. I'm. Like I said, for those kind of games, you have to keep expectations short because Square likes to keep us on our short leash. But, you know, we do have an end in sight, finally. Hopefully, if the game runs good, you know, because another thing, too. Square Enix also has problems with that. Also with DLC. But I am looking forward to 3. And Aqua is pissed. Holy crap. That was really surprising to see her kind of be possessed. No more delays, Rico. Trust me. I hope you're right, man. I, I really do. For their sake. There we go. What is the best video game you've ever played? That you, I, I like. If you're like that is a very difficult question to answer. I could tell you some of the best games I've played. But not the best game I can play. Because that's a really hard question to answer. Uh, Metal Gear Castlevania, like those kind of games, um, I do like a lot. I love them, actually. Uh, okay, good. This camp is done. We could actually go to one of the others. Um, hopefully, we'll see what we can do. And Nadal says, what do you think of Far Cry 5? Um, honestly, I don't play much Far Cry, so I can't really say. It's it's rather difficult for, for me to talk about Far Cry like like I said I haven't played much Far Cry I don't play m much American games as I like to but hopefully it, a lot of people said it was pretty good maybe more of the same so I guess we'll see you know see Riley uh, oh Shangwa says you you spend I mean you spend the better part of a decade of the realm of darkness you're not gonna come out happy I exactly you know, when it, when we saw Aqua, like, it's it's not surprising that she had to go through what she had to go through. Like, if anything, you know, what what took her so long from, like, getting in the darkness kind of shit, you know? Especially with 2.8 coming out and going into her background. Which, don't spoil 2.8, please, because I have not played that. If you do, I will get very angry at you. But other than that, um... Yeah, I, I still need to figure out what's going on. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be streaming Kingdom Hearts, like the entire series when that comes out. Uh, so, yeah, man. Let's let's see how this goes. Finally, we're down to the last camp. So I think I'm going to finish this camp. I'm going to try to. Yeah. Soul Calibur 6 hype. Okay, you know what? Real talk... Soul Calibur 6, I'm incredibly hyped because it looks a lot like Soul Calibur 2 and 3. And I'm hoping we get a, a nice story mission too. If we do that, I'm going to be so happy to get back into the series. Like, so happy. I haven't gotten... I didn't get into 4 or 5. But if 6 is like that. Tekken 7, I'm not much of a Tekken guy myself. But I, I not only respect the franchise, I love it for what it is. It, like, Tekken is just not my cup of tea. That's all. I, pr I prefer more Sir Soul Calibur. If anything. But, no, Tekken is a, is a fantastic franchise. I would love to play more Tekken, honestly. That's, that's just me, though. Alright, last camp. Ixel. Let's see. I think I'm going to focus on Siegfried and his struggle to maintain sanity. 
What's your favorite fighting game franchise? That's another thing about me. I don't have many fighting game like franchises that I like. I'm not. A, I'm honestly, I'm not a person who plays fighting games. That's not. That's not me. I prefer more RPGs, JRPGs, classic retro gaming. That's that's my bread and butter. That's what I love to do. Fighting games. It's only few and far between for me. Even then, like if you talk to a lot of my friends who know me personally. I don't play fighters at all. I barely play fighters with them. If anything, when we do hang out, I just like to hang out and just have a good time with them. Ooh. I see. By the way, did you notice that they gave Laura her uh, classic, classic blue top? Laura. Oh, you're talking about Tomb Raider. Oh no, dude! I haven't seen anything for classic for uh, for Tomb Raider at all. So I'm not the best person to ask about that at all. I I hate to say it, like I've been just so busy. I've been I haven't really caught up with trailers and stuff like that. What's your opinion of Shadows of the Colossus? Shadows is probably one of the most beautiful games you can play, honestly. Last Guardian, I I love. I'll show you some things that now that the NDA is over. Okay, good. I, I'm actually kind of excited to see that. But I love Shadows of the Colossus. Fantastic franchise. Fantastic game. Probably one of those beautiful emotional games. It's not my personal favorite game. Like, it, like in, in general. But I love the game a lot. Actually, I have some posters that I need to hang up, honestly, for Shadows. And I haven't. Okay, cool. I think I just got your text right now, too. I like Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is another one. There's so many games that I have and haven't played that it... Oh, Shadows is on sale right now. You know me, dude. I, I If it's not physical, I won't buy it. Also, I do have Shadows on PS3, so I don't really feel a need to buy on PS4 yet. Unless I'm really in the mood for buying it. If anything, I'm really in a Bioshock mood. Like, I'm in a huge FPS mood. Alright. So, Age of Empires 2. Oh, okay, so you're an RTS boy. I do love my RTSs, actually. I, I've been playing a lot of RPS, RTSs since I was a kid. Not like Red Alert and everything. And FPS? Dude, there's some good FPS games. Real talk, there's some good FPS games. Don't even worry about... Um, don't even worry about what you see these days. And any news on when the next Berserk chapter is dropping? Well, we got the we got a Berserk chapter that just dropped a couple weeks ago. Two two or three weeks ago. Um, usually, if I know when the chapter is dropping, I always put on my Twitter. So please keep updated with my Twitter. I'll let you know when it drops. Also, Tritium Decay, which is the guy who does the current translations for Berserk. He does a really good job on it, too. He usually messages me. Um, he he usually messages me when um, when the newest chapter drops. So, like I said, please keep updated with my Twitter. That's the best place to keep updated with everything that I do. And agreed, please get on that goddamn Borderlands because Borderlands is just so much fun, so much fun. Borderlands is it, he's right. Borderlands really is the the game. That you play when you hate FPSs. Uh, what happened? What I do? What I do? Oh, that's because I went back. Oh wow, I did the wrong thing. My bad. Okay, I went. I meant to raise my level. That's that's my fault. Thirty-eight. Need forty-five. I can level up everything else, but I don't want. Borderlands is gun porn. Hell the fuck yeah! I love Borderlands. Actually, I'm going to probably be streaming that next week. Like I said, if you guys want to keep updated with everything that I do, all of my social media is down below. I'm not only very active on all of them, I also like to keep updated and everything. How can I keep in contact with you so we can discuss on games? Um, to keep in contact, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, Twitter is always the best place to hit me up. I don't respond. Oh, I try to respond as quickly as possible. But um, about to bow, bro. Enjoy some games. Let me know how it goes for Row, man. 
But like I said, please keep updated with my Twitter and all my social medias. Those are always the best places to keep updated with me. I'm always active on them, believe it or not. I'm always active on them. I think I forgot to save the game. Fuck. I don't use Twitter. I use Facebook. I ha I do have a Facebook, actually. Um, I don't update that one as much as Instagram or everything. But you can find me on Facebook. I can definitely say that. But it, I don't update as much. Not as... not Definitely not like my Instagram or Twitter. Definitely not. But I, but I do get messages, so just let me know. Hit me up, see what's good. That's always the best place. Fuck. He's raring to go. Jesus, this guy is just upset. Thanks, man. You're definitely the best video gamer. Oh, that's not true. I would not say I'm the best video gamer at all. I love what I do. I can say that. I love, you know, doing the whole YouTube, whatever the hell I am. Long time no see from Nazca. What's up, man? Thank you for coming, dude. Oh, boy. I'm not doing a good job right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. Alright, dropping bombs. You're not really helping at all. Puck. Like it like always. Yo, if I don't do something, I'm gonna get fucking pulverized. Wait, is he behind? Oh, fuck. He's actually behind everyone. Yeah, I'm not going to last long if he does this. Okay. Cool. So, I think in a bit... I'm going to... I think once I finish this up, if I'm able to save it. If not, I'll just pause it and I'll have to set up for stream for the Sony press conference. Brave Berserk Fight. Guts versus Griffith when leaving the Band of the Hawk. What is my favorite fight? The, uh, give me a bit on that. Sorry, using projectiles. Yeah, you're right. See what I got. I don't have much projectiles either. Yeah, this really. Su okay. You know, when I was playing on easy mode, this definitely did not happen. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucking pulverized. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. I'm still trying to figure this out. Yeah, this is actually... Yeah, I don't have that much project... Wait. Oh, well, I did have that, thank God. But they came back. First appearance of the Berserk Armor, that is so good. That's what—that's definitely a beautiful fight for sure. Seeing Guts bounce around left and right. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I think one of my favorite ones was uh, Nosferatu with Nosferatu and Guts. Like they were fighting against... I can never pronounce his name, but... Tall Demigod. I forgot what was his name. I'm so sorry that I can't remember. I'm so bad with names. So horrible with names. Alright, that one's done. But then another one comes in his place. Oh, Ga Ganishka. There we go. It was definitely Ganishka. I do remember that for sure. You know, I don't even remember if I saved it. I don't think I saved it. I think I forgot. You are sacrificed. <laughs> what do you know? I think that's how it's spelled. No, no, you're right. It is definitely Ganishka. Okay, so I start in the menu. Oh yeah, you're using Zod as a mount. That's a terrifying sight. Yeah, like that. That was some really. That was some good grade A shit right there. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna actually be doing right now. Um, 
I'm gonna right now I'm gonna be setting up for the Sony press conferences. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, let's see, not much. Wanna resubscribe to this channel after deleting my old one. If you're curious, I'm the guy that kept recommending port for support videos. I recently got into Berserk as well and loved it. Well, I'm glad, man. But um I definitely have more port versus port now that I actually have time. You guys are gonna be seeing more of that. Give me a little bit though. Um we're gonna still be streaming, obviously, but I want to um get everything ready for the Sony press conference. I'm going to actually be setting up for that right now. Give me about 10 to 15 minutes right now. I'm going to put a timer so you can check it out. Uh, I'll be on. So don't even worry. We're going to we're going to be able to watch the conference. Maybe talk about it afterwards. See what you guys think. So there we go. Cool. Put the timer. And while we wait, we'll, we'll watch. We'll still play some Berserk in the meantime. And then we'll go back to it. So give me a bit.
All right, so good news. It looks like um, I set up a lot quicker than I thought. I got everything that I need to. Uh, only thing is, we'll just have to wait for the press conference. That's the only thing. So, without further ado. Wow, it, it switched to the press conference. This is what you're going to see. Don't worry. It's going to be in full screen when it needs to. But other than that, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'll just switch it. See, the nice thing is that I like about this whole setup that I have that I can just change it like that when I need to. So it's really nice. Cool. Alright, so there we go. So, Sony's press conference is, is there. Um, I think that should be good. Should be entirely ready. Cool! Wait, is the music still on? Ah, the music is still on. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's, let's keep playing more Berserk while we wait then. The the press conference should take a little bit of time, so we still got quite a bit going on. I don't think I saved it. I feel so... If I have to do that... Please don't. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. That's what I gotta do. All right. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm Gudo. Uh, Susumu Hirasawa is my favorite composer. Susumu is a legend and a godsend in every respect of the word. And honestly, that's not even exaggerating. He's He definitely is one of my favorites. Um, Michiru Yamane is another one when it comes into that. Uh, Michiru Yamane is definitely another favorite of me. Uh, she does a lot of the Castlevania games, so... Alright, here we go. Let's see how we do this. Oh god, here we go. Oh! Wow, so he can just keep doing... Re he can just keep doing goddamn reversals. There we go. Yeah, yeah, he's just ransacking me right now. Alright, let's go for this. Let's see, favorite track. Uh, Forces 2, Aria, Indra. And of course, Forces 1 are my favorite. More or less, like, so, some of those are some of my favorites. It, I will say, you should actually listen to some of his standalone albums outside of Berserk. He's a wonderful composer, even outside that, and his live performances are even better. The guy is a master craft at, at, at the synth... I, I don't know the specific in, uh, instrument he does. Maybe the synthesizer? Whoops. Okay. There we go. It's definitely something. There we go. Come on, my dude. Let me fuck you over. Oh. Naya. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna last this one. This guy is actually really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty damn difficult. I'm I'm actually kinda surprised.
Okay. Uh, let's see. I've listened to none of his non-Berserk stuff, and they're and oh, listen to some of his non-Berserk stuff, and they're absolutely fantastic. Agreed. He knows how to like really make that done. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna keep switching inputs. I just want to check quickly, uh, just to see how that conference is. Let me see. It'll take a little bit just to change, but come on. Yeah, that'll take a while. Okay. Uh, let me switch back to component. We'll keep, like I said, we'll keep playing Berserk until we figure out what the hell's going on. Watch the Sony press conference. I'm really excited. We, we better get some good shit. We better get some good shit. Okay, let's keep on going. Oh, Mirenio Faruko. Faruko. Yeah, that's a lot of kanji that I can't read. Unfortunately. Okay, you know what? Maybe I just have to grind a little bit. I need to get at least 45 in order to get one part of mastery. So maybe I'll just grind a little bit. I hate, I, I'm not a big fan of it, of grinding. But when you got to do, well, we're only at 38. That's, we need at least less than 10,000 experience. Probably do that shit. Unless no one's here, then I'm fucked. Oh, okay, now everyone comes. Cool. Yeah, hopefully he won't be as sluggish when we upgrade. There we go. Let's see, it's an old tasking game with the with the XP system. Yeah, that might just be it. Sucks. Cause it, it the the funny thing is too. Oh I, I forgot I can hold R1 and then he swings a little bit faster. Then he can actually diagonally cut if needed, which is nice. Yeah, but it, he only has at least three attacks when it comes to that, which sucks. Oh, oh my god, this is actually going to take forever. Christ. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That was a really nice one. Perfect. Oh, wow. He actually gave me my ticket, so I'm able to go into the Sony uh, to play Smash. Hell yeah. That should be fun. Let's see, 39, all right. We're almost there. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of doing this, but. Yeah, it, you know, it's funny too, because now that I'm playing it on a harder difficulty, I'm seeing some of the things that our minuses for this game definitely the I feel like this game has an emphasis on grinding then again I am on chapter 2 so there we go 
Uh, Alright, I'll use Puck for that. Orisama. Come on. Yeah, I just love as soon as he hits someone's body, it, they just like explode. Cool. All right, we're we're kind of getting there. Well, we were at 38, we already got 2000. That ain't too bad. There we go. So when it, so where are you in one piece because things are getting crazy right now about now. Um where am I in One Piece? Okay, so in One Piece, I'm right where Sanji and Pudding, they're at the altar, and they're about exchanging vows, and then Luffy's about to come attack. That's literally where I stopped. And that's just because I'm sometimes really bad at, at keeping track of what I do. And that's a huge reason why. That's almost the only reason why, actually. But no, other than that, I know I need to catch up. I know they finished the pudding arc and they finished um, Whole Cake Island. But I'll, I'll get onto it soon. I, I just feel really bad. I really do. Let's see. World bu building stuff just happened. Oh, seriously? So did they... Shit, it, shit, it getting real. Oh, fuck, if it's world building stuff. Oh, man. I'm actually kind of excited about that, honestly. Okay, 41. We st still need. Oh, Reverite Arc. Wait, what? Are, are you fucking serious? Reverie Arc is starting? Oh my god. Rico, PlayStation Live starting in nine minutes. Alright, give me a sec. Let's see what it's looking like. Because if it's starting right now, and how are you, by the way, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. If it's starting right now, then yeah, I'll definitely get on that. Alright, that'll take a little bit. Okay. So yeah, let, let's switch, switch back. Probably when it gets to like 58, 59, we'll do that. Then I'll have to switch the input so you could actually see how it looks, so it looks nicer and everything. So I'll do that too. Our last two chapters alone have been pretty damn mind blowing already. Jesus. So catching up with all of that, I can If we're at Reverie, that's nuts. So wait, if if we're at Reverie, does that mean this is the end? No, there's no way. I'm powerful, bitch. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Bombshell info to happen last two chapters, especially last week. No, things are ramping up. There's a long way to go, I think. Mind-blowing info. Okay. Alright, you, you guys... You guys convince me. Maybe after the PlayStation conference... I'll, I'll get some reading done. Come on, there we go. Alright, we're at 42, not too bad.
There we go. Okay, cool. He sent me my tickets for the Nintendo Switch thing, too. Thank you. Beautiful. Come on, we're almost there. We literally need 3,000 more to go. There we go. Beautiful. Come on. Uh, 43, not bad. Need at least 2,000. Uh, we got what, like five minutes. It's not only though that Luffy's biggest rival is a big mom. Their fight is even better than L Luffy versus Lu Luchi. That was an incredible fight for me when I saw that, especially the Jet Gatling. I'm never going to forget the first time that appeared. So if we're going to have something on that caliber, Jesus, I, I, I would like to keep up with the anime too. That would be nice. I, I, I am visual, so I do like seeing, um, uh, motion video in action, I guess, if, for lack of a better term. Boy. Alright. Hey man, sorry I'm so late. Had to get back from work from stuff. Not a problem at all. If anything, you're probably just in time for the Sony press conference. Which... Now that I think about it, I should probably... Let me see if that's the thing. I should probably check right now. Let me see how this is going to look right now. What's going on? Hmm. Shit. Okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Still got four minutes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up a little bit of grinding for Berserk. Uh, do a little wacky slash... Switch it on to the PlayStation conference, and then uh, we'll be good. We'll be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna solo like move up to the save point. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, we're so... Actually, you know what? We're really close to getting 45. Kind of want to just see if I could do it now. Might as well. God, yeah, we're so fucking close. We could probably do it b before the conference starts. Come on. We're almost done. Cool, there we go. Ooh. We're almost there. Need 700 more to go. go come on 300 yo we got this we can do this by it. 
All right. Oh, it's starting. Okay, cool. If it's starting, uh, cool. Let's get to, let's get it done. Is it going on? Oh. oh, okay, cool. All right. I'm going to switch it to the other input. Give me a sec. Uh, I know I'm late in saying this, but I just thought of it. Oh, they were playing the music right now. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so what do we got here? Was this escape that they were showing at, um, what was it? Not PSX. Also, can you guys hear the, the, um, can you guys hear it on stream or not? Or let me know if you can, because I, I could definitely raise the volume if need be. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, I can hear it. Cool. All right, perfect. All right, I I'm excited. Okay, this program may contain blah blah blah. Suck me, suck me, suck me. Th thank you. Please welcome Sean Layden. All right, let's go. Hey guys. Okay, this is definitely not in their original press conference. That's for sure. To come to church. Okay, that's cheeky. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman. Okay. This, this, it, just, it doesn't end that way. It end okay, that way. I, I appreciate cheeky humor, but this is kind of dumb. Um, All right. Again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation. This Clearly, year. you're so starting now. Look at what the stories have we tell to tell, and 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 the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. Mm -hmm. and that changes our oh, it's a bit low. So All right, cool. Ideas. Give me a sec. I'll look, raise that for you. So tonight we're going to have rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into. The key titles. All right, so I raised it a little bit. I have to refresh in order to hear the volume. So this should pro this is as high as it can go, actually. We really want to take our love for gaming and make it sing and make it sing very loudly. I hope it's as good as it can get for you guys. And I apologize if it's not. I tried. We see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. It's what we do. It's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you. And places mm -hmm. they like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, there we go. Uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles. To let you okay, dude, just show the games. Yeah, us, he's and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So, without further ado, it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage and introduce to you Gustavo Santorea. Gustavo, I don't know who this is. 
This is a really interesting press conference, especially the location. It's not in their... Sp okay, he's playing a banjo. Hey, you guys want to watch some games? Let's just listen to a banjo con <laughs> a banjo concert. Oh my god. Oh no. The off-brand Guillermo del Toro. Ugh. That's really disgusting. I hate hearing that because that bothers me so much. The off Guillermo del Toro. I, I don't care. Banjo game. So Sony logic. This is this is dumb. Okay. Oh, isn't that the Last of Us music? Oh. Yeah, that's why. So they're starting with Last of Us. Because I think... I haven't played Last of Us, but I think Ellie plays the banjo, right? That makes a lot more sense. See, now... Oh, fuck. Okay. Cool. I gotta admit, if Sony's starting with the Last of Us, they're starting pretty damn strong. Good show. Yeah, this is definitely Last of Us. This feels like it. That's... Thank you guys so much. We're now going to announce Banjo-Kazooie for the PS4. Real talk, I'd really want that. Yep, here we go. Why wow, are you not streaming this on Twitch? Hi, hi, Metal-chan. Yeah, the only reason I'm not is just because... Oh, that's why they're doing this. Yeah, the only reason I'm not doing this on Twitch is just because I think more people would want to watch it on YouTube. That's the only reason, though. So, wait. The reason they got that location was just because of Last of Us? Wow, okay. Aw, oh, Ellie. Look at her. Also, how is the um, Kurisu wig coming? I. Oh, she's so big now. Yeah, here we go. I hate these things. Don't mean that. Your old man really made it. We got double audio. Yeah, oh, it definitely is Last of Us. Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. Funny how involved also, I still need to play Last of Us. I still haven't played it. Yeah. She's a... Uh, but not quite the show. I think it's two weeks. Mm. It looks like the guy from Walking Dead. How old is she now, I wonder? Yeah, because she looks like at least, what, like 17, 18 now? Oh, God, it is, uh, what's his face? Um... I don't watch Last of Us anymore. I mean, Walking Dead. 
So good, man. Roller coaster feels. Yeah. Oh. Hey, don't forget we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. Play Last of Us. Please play the DLC. Oh, that's. Come on. Don't you start with me. Damn. Okay, I have a very serious question for you. Damn, she feeling some kind of way. All right, I like this. Good shit. Hot pile of garbage. Oh. Okay. Oh. How about that? Gross. You love it. Yeah, there's no way she can be a minor and having this kind of um this kind of tension like that. Definitely not. Ellie deserves love. Just, just a girl. Not a threat. Damn, she looks like she's just completely dead inside. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, Ellie. I think they should be terrified. Damn, there we go. Oh, transition change. Jesus Christ. That's one hell of a transition. <laughs> Same. Same. That that was, that's actually they probably timed Oh wow, we got gameplay guys. This is actual live gameplay we have. This is cool, because we, we've known nothing of Last of Us. So it looks like Elle, Elle is going to definitely be our main character. Um, cool. Nice to see live gameplay when it comes out. I, I can definitely appreciate that. So definitely this looks like a little bit of a stealth that we got here. Where's Joel? Yeah, we don't know about Joel. That's okay, Sony. I see you. Be interesting. So nice little bit of stealth that we got. Of course, considering it's Naughty Dog, animations are pretty damn stellar. So it looks like there's a there's an opposing force and they have a little bit of uh, like they're hanging a lot of their enemies and butchering them to the point of having their entrails completely out of their body. That's crazy. Wow. Spread out. All right. What are you gonna do, Al? How are you gonna take this down? I know. I, I'm sad too, Meruchan. All right, two in the front. One's going behind the truck. One is going down in, in the garage. She could take him out easy. Nice. That's a good stealth kill. Usually I would have went for the head, but hey, whatever works, works. Interesting how you didn't see her, so there. Okay, so what we can see so far, there are different passageways that you can take when using stealth. Nice little touch. Enemies also interact with the environment when they're patrolling. Apparently, L, Ellie's 19 in The Last of Us. Okay. 
nice little melee going on here. So they have we have melee takedowns. That was a nice takedown. So yeah, her stealth is covered. She's running off. She has a little bit of parkour. Not too much, but whatever can get the job done. She went into the grass. Watch yourself. All right, so enemies work together to kind of take you down while you're in the grass. That's cool. You know, it looks like this is taking a little bit more from st uh, inspiration from stealth games. Like, oh, definitely Metal Gear. Then again, I haven't played Last of Us, so this can be anything. This doesn't look like it's attacked on stealth either. Looks like it's integrated within the gameplay. She needs camo. That's so dumb if... I think it's really dumb that she used a gun. But okay. You only have three bullets, so make them count. One bullet now. A lot of games use bottles as a kind of a deflection, so she can hold people hostage and use them as shields. That's good. Pretty much overall survival game. Oh, okay. So it does use a lot of elements outside. So I guess... Do you know if this builds upon The Last of Us in terms of engine, or is this more of a new engine? Because I, I, I personally don't know that. That's, that's actually beyond me. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? We're in the makeup department. Runs on a new engine. Okay, that's good to know, actually. Yeah, you can tell that Naughty Dog has been working on this new engine for a while. There's a reason. So that means this game. Whoa. Good show. Oof. Ellie's got balls. Got hella balls. She definitely knows how to use her cover. Oof. Beautiful. What, do we have interrogations now? Well, never mind. Wow. You know, I really love those transition periods. Those are really nice cuts. Should be terrified. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna say it right from here. That's a really good trailer. The cuts are nice, the gameplay is really solid. Transitions are great. I'm happy. That's a nice way to start it off.
All right, so yeah, Sony, what they like to do, they always like to start with an attention grabber. Then they show you what's going on. So we still got like a good, what, 40 minutes? That was a new look at The Last of Us. Ugh, I don't like this guy. Every time I see him. E3 showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the Ugh. experience. We'll have a little bit more to share on that later. And I am joined by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are a, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios a, a little later when same. the game resumes. Uh, and uh, uh, guest to have. I'm afraid I might be all overshadowed. Then the chairman it might overshadow the other Mr. games. <laughs> I don't think it will because we still have a lot of titles that well, I'm hoping. I created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into and shot right across to the studio here, right yes. over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here, and I think it was a very, uh, a very powerful start for our E3 program. That's fair. That's right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. That was a zero in on the pretty last nice start. Two here yeah. Just for a moment, yeah. you know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of the Last of Us series. And I think what we saw looking tonight... Looking forward to Spider-Man. That would be really nice to get some so gameplay on this, dude. I mean, the whole relationship between I think, and fuck, when was release date coming out? Really shows That'd be nice that, uh, to get a little bit more of a trailer, but at the same time, I don't want them to play it safe. We want to see new content. Last of Us is great because we haven't seen gameplay. So that's cool. They show us Spider-Man. That's a little bit more of the same. I'm hoping it's good, dude. I think it's September. Yeah, yeah. So they don't need to show too much. It'll it'll be on the floor, though. I'm pretty sure. Death Stranding, maybe? Uh, oh, Kojima. Oh, Kojima. <laughs> The rule number one is do no harm, right? <laughs> Probably not. Oh my God, Death Stranding. In a lot of ways, my job is just to uh, pull this out of the road. Oh boy. To make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go. You know, provide backup, provide scope. Let's see. You know, you know what? I think I might generalize. Get it. You know, advice about where we can take this as a as as an industry and and, and as and as a. As yeah. The the thing that it, they did but last year is that they kind of played it safe. They already showed us gameplay of games we already knew that was coming out. So. And just help support them through to their vision. Yeah, let's That's make some sense of this weird ass game. Last, uh, Baby. I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into uh, cool. coming to play right now. That's great to hear that. And, I'm gonna start uh, charging. Speaking about making fans happy, I mean, there's, I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, it's right. a celebrated game. It's sold. I don't care well, about God of War right now. That's not the point of, of this. And one of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. Uh, with the advent of social media, we've got we get a lot of real time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is, is oh filled crap, up with a lot cool. Of stuff I think my my E3 pass all. just it's came in right now. Cool. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus was something that came through I'll really keep that strong, really right hard now. through that kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right. As someone, as someone who miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home, that makes me very happy. I will somehow find more scary, time. But, okay. I will find time. Okay. To he wasn't watching. Okay. Cheeky bastard, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we can so. Also, Santa Monica ain't too far from over here, so that's nice to see how local they are. Definition of good thing. Excellent. Fantastic. So New Game Plus, that is confirmed. That is coming to God of yep. War. We'll have full details on PlayStation Blog shortly. We have a lot more to talk about too. Kratos' yeah, voice. Actually, Sean, I to Boy. About a month ago. Boy, uh, where are you? A little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out and talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, you know, every year we try to let the the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year, we felt that um, what we really want to do is take people on a journey deep into the content, deep into the four big pillar games that we're working on right now. Um, Let's see. And get them to see Boy, a bit more about where are you? The story Crap. To tell I think my, I'm so happy. I think my E3 it's pass really went, went in. a range of, um, of uh, titles there. Anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghost. So um, what is it called? this year, I wanted people to know that don't come here expecting to have some big 
flashy new idea come out or, or some big surprise come out. I just I'm love this. There's just like a stream of people saying, boy, come here. I still need to play God of War. That's, that's another one I haven't played yet. Death Stranding, come on. Let's see more Evangelion. Well, they're all fabulous and I think BOI really right across the board but yeah. buoy one thing I would say is uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months and available in stores yeah, and that's it. our favorite web slinger of course okay so, so there you go Isaac they're talking the, the they're talking about um, awesome. Spider-Man now Sean, thank you so much for well, dropping by. And Always they finished. I don't mind. Notes with the of I try. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station, though. All yes, right, please, please. do. All right. And Wear we, the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during this short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Oh, great. Uh, a bad game. You guys like bad games? Uh. Oh, come on. And I don't care. Uh. So, okay. Uh, uh. Um, just letting you know, wake me up when I need to care. Thank you. Because I kind of don't. Bye. Same. Hey, game, I don't care. Get immediate access to Let's see. Black oh, Black come Black on, get to the goods. Only when you pre-order Call of Duty. Black oh, for fuck's sake, what are you Super saying? It's just a bunch of... Welcome back. We are having the Ugh. PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off. Now, if you pre-ordered Call of Duty 5, you get three maps, two dicks, and one dildo. Only at GameStop. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Care. Friendly yeah. faces. <laughs> right before the I don't showcase. care. Anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. I don't care. So I say we keep this uh, moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, let me let me sleep. All right. Remastered maps from Black Ops One and Black Tell me when I'm supposed to care. Okay. Good night. This October on launch day. But what we just learned here care. is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well. For those who also, they don't Black know Ops Roman numerals, and that really oh, bothers awesome. me. Uh, How the hell do you put four oh, as with three, three eyes? Well, that's it's it it's one eye and one V. How do you so not know how to read Roman numerals? We are doing a what are you, five? PlayStation Plus game drop. That's Activision's full of five-year-olds, honestly. Black Ops if, if that's what it comes to. to. PlayStation Plus later tonight. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Let's talk yes. about Very something nice. else in the meantime. You're right. Not only do we get to You're share right. awesome news with um, our audience, but PlayStation Plus I don't know what to talk about. A little tasty treat. Uh, <laughs> a little mid-E3 supply drop for you. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know, we've been sharing a lot Let's of think of things that, that is not Call of Duty Black really Ops. Cool Let's go. What is this? I don't know. Ramping up for tonight's big showcase. I'm sorry. Right. This we is a lot of pressure. To E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights. Great. So, let's talk about Elder Scrolls Battle Royale. Okay, finally. All right. Now I'm slightly caring again. Cool. So we got. It's nice to see though that they're actually doing. Is that Luminous? Oh, the new Tetris game. This is really... Oh. Okay. This is... Oh, it's a highlight series. Yeah, a lot of people are actually getting a little concerned for Days Gone. They, they're thinking it's a little repetitive. Yeah. Your mind. What is this? I have to figure out what happened. Okay, wake up. Focus. Remember. From the creators of Fee and Flipping Dead. You look like you've seen a ghost. That's the spirit. Comes a heartfelt story in VR. What? Really? Who are you? Okay. Is that a heartless plushie? Oh, you've never seen this? Yeah. He's, 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 a, he's a nice little boy. Beat Saber. That's cool, because I know that was on PC. 
So that's nice to see that it's coming. There we go. There, there's... It, he's adorable. Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, oh, he's I cute. He's minutes, so I mean, look, really look at those little <laughs> eyes. So let's keep so nice. Here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we could see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to. So continue. you should probably continue. Yeah, I want a zombie game stuff, that feels like an amazing Dead Island trail like instead of no, another horde shooter. I think that's just easier to do for horde shooting, but. Let's squeeze it in. Let's I hope it in. we can be wrong. Okay, so this next the plushie's cute, too. Boasts a huge loyal community. Oh. Okay, stop it. No, don't do that to me. I hate you. Yeah, they play that mm. so much. Don't, don't do that to me. And uh, we're going to take mm. a, a first look at the next chapter mm. right now. Uh. Oh, is this Destiny? Oh, my God. You're killing me, man. I really hope this is not like another Destiny patch. What? Re Destiny? Recore? I don't know. Please. That Dead Island trailer was incredible. I didn't see Dead Island, actually. Okay, I don't know if this is Destiny. Destiny 2, we're also gonna have fuck tons of DLC. I, I hope for Destiny 2's sake. I don't know, I don't play Destiny, honestly, so. I'm not a fan of DLC either, so. I guess the people enjoy. Yeah, little orb thingies from Destiny, yeah. Okay, so so far we have one game that was actually worth knowing, The Last of Us for sure. You know, in terms of gameplay and and but everything else we don't care. Forsaken. Okay, September fourth. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, that was a powerful new look at. No, it, what? Oh my God, are they going to commentate on every single game now? Great enhancements and content for that one, and. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. There's a lot of buzz about that gambit <sighs> mode coming up. And guess what? If you're at E3, you can play it at our booth. Holy Not shit! This is actually I starting to become a drag. Because we're about to get to the show. That's right. We are really second. Oh, look for the E3 the Death the Island um, e Dead Island showcase. trailer. I'll I'll take Thank a look after so this. I'm sorry, but this is a trash conference so far. Um, you're not even like. Now, you're not even time. being like shitty time. right now. You're right. This is a. Let's get to. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. This is a horrible press star. conference. So let's check it out live. I'm right I'm now. actually having an aneurysm right now. I don't care about these people. Uh, guy won't shut up, sassy guy, token girl, and token black guy. Ba honestly, you've pretty much defined it. Like, you've pretty much defined it right there. I... I'm, I'm actually starting to get really impatient. You know what? Fine. I'll just... You know what? I'll just play with this cup, okay? I can play better. <laughs> Welcome to Sony's E3 press conference where you hear instruments all the time. Thank you. That was that was called I Want to See You Pee by me. This is so fucking bad. Like 
Okay. I'm not clapping. I'm not not fucking clapping at all. We've ugh, okay. The guy on his phone same. Like this is I thought my ears were gonna bleed. But how how fast can we we re oh my god. Wait. Sekiro. Yeah, actually, I think that that was the game we heard announced from Xbox. I mean, that's cool that we get this, because I think before, it, was it planned only for Xbox or for everything else? Yeah, the Sekiro, if that's the Sekiro game, then that's... Mongol Invasion, Day 9. Mo okay, this is definitely Japanese. Like, hands down. This is hands down Japanese. Uh, a lot of the hiragana and the katakana, that's that's not Chinese. So... This looks like this is in feudal uh, Edo period. With, uh... Maybe this guy looks like a ronin uh, samurai. Ronin means it's, it's a lost samurai. Oh, I think it's that ghost game. I don't think I've heard of the ghost game, so this is going to be new for me. Oh, this is Ghost of, of, of Tsushina. Otsuna Grasslands. This looks really nice. Oh, this is Sucker Punch's new game. Really? It caught my attention. Oh, it's in English. Jesus Christ. I have a problem with games that take place in Japan and they don't speak Japanese. Maybe it's just me and my elitism, I guess. Okay, this is looking absolutely wonderful. Yeah, they revealed this last year in Paris Game. Oh, it was in Paris Game Week. That's where it was revealed. Okay, good to know, because this is all info I didn't know. I'm very excited for this. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes on this one. This one looks extremely good. It's beautiful, too. Where are they? Dokuni. What? No, what are you doing? Ugh. Yes. Okay. Cool, wow. Okay, sorry about that cut, but... but the gameplay looks really nice. Ooh. Look at that. Very no. No, what's going on? YouTube does that to me too. Okay, like I'm actually. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Okay, let me. S I don't know why I did that. I I'm so sorry about that. There we go. Cool. That looks really. N I'm so sorry, but it should be stable now. Ooh. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. Yeah, this is definitely a Ronin samurai. Hands down. The monk's a hero. Okay, him. what the hell is going on? Why is this fucking up right now? I'm actually... No, I'm... We can take them. No. I definitely need... I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's got a good game, so the world is conspiring to not let us see it. 
Bouncing back and forth between streams myself, it's all fucked up. Yeah. So I guess this is on everyone's end. It's all good. Yeah, no, you're right, but I still don't like it when that happens. It still pisses me off. Nice. This this has got a beautiful stealth element, beautiful combat. I'm not gonna lie, this game is starting to become a day one purchase for me. Is this Samurai Creed? Oh, I know that um that statue. I think it's a Buddha. I, but it's a very specific Buddha, actually. I think it's supposed to represent war or something. Oh! Beautiful! Oh my god, okay, I'm... Ubisoft too, took too long. You're, you're completely right, dude. We have to move. I love game. Oh, so you love Edo period games. This game looks incredible. Oh, shit. Masako. Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. I look same. Win. I'm loving this in every sense of the word. They already won. I think I'm gonna cry, dude. This is Oh my god, the atmosphere and watching these two fight, this game is incredible. Dude, I feel like I'm watching Yojimbo or Harakiri. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god, okay. Holy shit. This is... I'm actually floored. I... It's nice to get refreshing titles like these. Like, this is just wonderful. Ooh, beautiful. Top 10 anime betrayals. My heart's pounding. Looks like all of... This is art to my eyes. Dude, everything about this, it has such a beautiful flow and temperance. Ghost of Tsushima. This is a day one purchase for me. By Sucker Punch. Okay, can we guys just give a round of applause for that? Because that was beautiful. That was stellar. god and now my dick is soft like it was actually really hard and then banana boys kind of like killing my vibe
The oldest house is a shifting place. Okay, cool. I'm going to be doing a lot of tweeting. Oh, and thank you so much, Chris Malone, for the follow on Twitter. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, man. Banana boy, how to fuck? Why, why are you hating? No, that's fantastic. Sony, why are you doing so good, then bad, then good, then not so good? Oh, wait, is this Death Stranding? You know, the thing that manages to do, building a really good tense atmosphere and ruining it to hell with a stupid joke. Sony said, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only thing, though. Like, This looks like a mixture of Red Hot and some kind of telekinetic ability. It's interesting. No problem, definitely worth following. Well, uh, like, I honestly appreciate it, dude. I hope to continue to bring you guys content as best as possible. What happened? Oh. Control. Interesting. Five oh. Wow. Okay. 2019. It's a, it's a very good one. I'll keep my eyes on that. Okay, this looks like we're playing a mouse. That's kind of cool. There's a PS1. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Yeah, honestly, th this this really feels like a breath of fresh air. Especially if... Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Mr. Mosquito. It's an old PS2 title where you're playing as a, as a mosquito and trying to sting people. This is kind of reminiscent of that, where you're playing some tiny character. This feels like maybe you're playing a mouse or something. Although, it could change at any time. But it's a, it's a very nice perspective. Oh no, Mr. Mosquito. That weird pervy game. Also, you know, I'm... I'm well, who isn't pervy, to be fair? Well, he tried. Oh, is this a trailer for Days Gone? Okay, honestly, seeing that makes me really hungry. Wait, weird pervy game? I'm, I'm interested. Yo! Holy shit, dude! Woo! Are you fucking kidding me? Do you guys know what this is? This is a hell of a rev- Okay, I'm really fucking happy. Oh my god. Fuck. This is good. This is really good. Oh my god. Save the city. Surprised you made it this far. Dude, when they said they're making this game from the ground up, they weren't kidding. God damn it. Oh. Oh, there's Sherry. Of course. Of course. Impressive display of strength. Oh, but there's Mr. X. But we never meant for this to happen. There's the liquors. <sighs> there's Ada. It's coming. It's coming back. That was a beautiful trailer. Yo! Oh my god, are you serious? <gasps> Dude, this is competing with Kingdom Hearts right now. This is big. 
okay this is absolutely big this is competing with kingdom hearts which comes out four days later capcom is putting all the stops for this this is incredible wow Dude. Oh, we literally duded. From Squanch Games and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Now my bonus. Guy. And we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy. I'm always in my bathtub, but you know, that's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to be a man as fuck. Give me Jesus Christ! Oh my god, somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number. And it's gone. Part of the galaxy. Why, what is this now? Justin Rowland? Built some great no, monument, then crushing it. Do you play with our. Mo yeah, this, this flow is just like. Like, my vibe is just so killed right now. You start slow, you go up, and then you. Kingdom Hearts 3, we're back up again. Yo, this is a new trailer! Is this... Is this Pirates 3? Because we get to be pirates again! Yep, you always did like this world. Still... It's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Sony... Oh my god, dude, we got pirates, but it's like... Dude, look at this boy! That's so cool! Oh my god! We got a- Guys, we got another world confirmed? And we got ship battles? What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> this is cool! This is so fucking awesome! Dude, are you guys seeing this? This is nuts. Holy fuck. Dude, and even the Heartless have their own art style, but they're all pirates. You back in the organization? Yeah. Yo, Luxord is back. Jack, don't you give this creep Dude, what the fuck, man? It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship. When said pirate offers to confabulate, I am Luxord looks incredible, oh. Jesus Christ. Hades. Oh my god. Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Oh, please, go away. I'm like, my heart is actually kind of hurting right now. This is nuts. Dude, we got Vanitas! Oh my god! What the f- Okay, um, I forgot her name, Marxine. Dude, this is- Oh my god, Zigbar, Xemnas, Xehanort. Larxine, there we go, thank you. Oh, this is Axel- we finally got Kyrie! Dude, her new outfit looks great! Holy shit, man. What is going on? Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Dude, oh my god! Not Lee, though. That's Axe. There we go. Limited edition PS4 Pro. Dude, 
Oh, replica Riku. <sighs> all in. Okay, I I mean, there's no point in doing an all in one package now. Okay, we just went back low again. What the fuck? Death Stranding. Like What's your level? What's your level? I need medical assistance. The fucking baby's back. Let's. Do you guys want to wah right now? No, but I can sense him. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. I can't help you with that. I make. Dude, I almost gave myself a hernia. Oh my god. Okay, so yet again, keep it. Keep. I hope you guys keep in mind, we still haven't seen gameplay of Death Stranding yet. We've only seen cutscenes, not gameplay. And baby, I wanna. I wanna go to corner and cry tears of joy. I, holy shit, dude! Oh, maybe this actually is gameplay. Finally. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Gameplay? I think it is. Yeah, this looks like gameplay. And it looks pretty good. Agreed. So, yeah, for sure, there were a lot of Reddit rumors of what was going on. This is going to be a third-person game. Um, there were also rumors that this was going to be an Evangelion type of game, where you're gonna, it's going to be third-person. It's going to be action-oriented. You're going to be fighting a lot of angels and stuff like that. Uh, that's what a lot of Reddit posts have been for around a year ago. So, we can only imagine what this could be. Then again, keep, I, I'm just making sure I want you guys to keep grounded. Especially, like, maybe I, I do have a personal bias against Kojima. But also, keep, keep your head in the gear where this is a lot of open space gameplay we haven't seen actual action yet but th this is looking more to be like third person survival stuff like that it looks very desolate there we go so this is I need to know what this fucking game is about. From what everyone says, this is going to be an Evangelion type of game where you're hunting angels and stuff like that. Interesting how his case turns into a gun, mind you. And you can... Oh, okay. Definitely a Kojima game, that's for sure. Agreed. Completely. Yeah, so this looks like to be some of the angels, if anything. Interesting.
Let's see, my mind can fucking function right now. I gotta admit, the music is really good. Give me your hand in death. Yeah, so I'm definitely starting to believe the Reddit post now. It definitely feels like they're fighting against angels. Give me your hand in flesh. Sam, what's your status? Aurelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. Closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. Yeah, I'm definitely believing the Reddit post now. That's that's completely. I'm I'm 100% believing that now. Cause this. I got an idea. Oh baby. sec yeah um okay here we go between ghost and cage three i'm losing it i knew it this is angels hands down you're fighting against angels third person you have guns in it i knew it so this is definitely yeah it makes a lot more sense now So this game is is telling the baby to go inside the fucking robot. Oh, baby, get in the robot now. Ew. Yeah, this is the as Kojima as it can get, honestly. Give me your hand in spirit. There we go. This is no release date yet. They're still working on it. So, yo, Koi Tecmo. Yo, is that Neo too? Dude, if we get another Neo, that's actually pretty damn quick. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a strong conference now.
Holy shit. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can they stop bla breaking the flow for me? This is really ruining my vibe. What are these weird trends? Rust. Cool. Spider Man. They're taking some sadistic pleasure in playing with our emotions. That sounds like every goddamn company. Yo, this looks like maybe Electro. Ooh, a new redesign on Electro. I'm liking this. Spooderman. Ooh. This is looking good. You okay? Yeah. I want to see car. Oh god! If we see Carnage, I'm gonna fucking freak. Electro, why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. Who is that? That's what I don't know. Please, if so, I'm not too much into Spider-Man. So if someone can fill me in, that'd be fantastic. It's nice to get more gameplay too. This is looking great. It's great to see, to live in the certainty that Spider Spider Man meme perfect for contest ex exists. Or Spider Man meme perfect for anything. Agreed. Gameplay is wonderful. Beautiful, loving it. No! Oh my God! Is 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 this really stopping right now? No! 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 There we go. Yo, we got Rhino? Lizard and oh, Scorpion. The, these are good designs. Absolutely agreed. They're looking really nice. I'm loving the way Scorpion and Rhino are looking. They're looking really mighty fine. Yeah, going to prison, <laughs> Natsu. I'm officially dead. This is great, dude. I'm, I'm. Sony's doing good. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. There we go. I, at this point, they kind of stole the show. I, yeah. Oh, even Vulture. Jesus. Dude, they're putting a lot of villains in this one. Oh my god. This is really fucking good. Yuri Wantanabe. I don't know her. Please don't Spider-Man 3 it game. I'm very happy right now. 
Oh my god. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a lot of, like, adrenaline right now, just watching this. This is so beautiful. Carnage, please, oh my god. Calling it out, the biggest will show up for a second at the end. I'm, I'm gonna take your word for that, honestly. Let, let, like, real talk, that's probably what's gonna be going on right now. This does look really fucking good. Uh, I, Meadow Chan, you have no idea. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Dude, everyone's going ham on him. Is that Chameleon? I don't I don't know if I know him, I honestly. Doc Ock maybe. Oh shit, dude. This is hype as fuck. Dude, they got all new fancy tech suits. This is nuts. Ooh. Dude, Spider Man's getting kicked. Holy fuck. Okay, that pissed me off. Well, I guess you're you're wrong, uh Shang Yi W. They didn't show who it was. Some bright light though. Oh, it's Doc Ock. It has to be. All right, looks like we're coming to a close here. Well, it looks like Death Stranding actually just went up for pre-order on Best Buy's website. Okay, really, can you stop with those transitions? They're really dumb. Stop it, Sony. All right, give us a final goodbye, and then we'll set this off tonight. Never mind. Looks like we got one more. Oh, wait. Ugh. That was the, that was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. Wait, that's it? Great Worldwide Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here coming right up. We're going to have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here just a couple We already of saw it. I don't care. To announce. We have some other stuff to talk about too. What a show. Oh my that's gosh. Oh my gosh. Pop highlights, go. Oh, that's oh. it. So like that's <laughs> done done. Okay. You know what? absolutely incredible those Okay, you know what? I don't fucking care. Let's give him a fuck off. But let's talk about this, all right? So So Okay. Let's put this all in hindsight that we know so far, okay? So Sony's press conference is officially done. We already got through it. We all, there were a lot of highs and lows. Uh, one thing we can say, Sony needs to really work on their fucking transitions. This is probably one of the worst press conferences I've seen with Sony, where they just went up and down and up and down, like, hands down. So far, what we've seen, just to recap, so um, it started out with a really nice trailer for Last of Us. Like you said, there was Resident Evil 2, which was beautiful. That is such a beautiful trailer. Um, we still don't know about Days Gone. Looks like that's going to get pushed off. Kingdom Hearts 3 released yet another trailer with so much more story gameplay. Resident Evil is going to compete with Kingdom Hearts. They're only four days off when it comes to release date. On top of that, we do have various other titles. The Spider-Man game, which looks unbelievable. Spider-Man getting surrounded by all the villains. And then we have more gameplay of Death Stranding as well. Like you said, Ghost of, of Tsurimura. I, I need to get the full name. 
that looked like such a beautiful new IP franchise. It looked wonderful to get a great look at Edo Piri Japan. Uh, what else was there? I know there's a couple more that I missed. Overall, this was a very nice and solid press conference. This was really well done in terms of the games that they've shown. They did give us blue balls in the beginning, which is really stupid. That's not how you do one. There's more. Wait, there's more? All right, let's... Uh, they're still going. Okay, never mind. I'm aware of them. They have created a lot of great games over the year. Well, they have been busy working on a PlayStation VR. Oh, they're still going from VR, software. And it is quite a departure from the kinds of games. No, they're still going, but this is kind of more of the... Um... And I'd like to see the first footage of that right now. Oh, and Last of Us 2 from soft. Oh, okay. So I went off prematurely. My bad. Japan Studios. Never mind. Okay, so this is from software's new title that they that they are announcing. Aren't you excited? You're going to be a fairy. And live in the Never mind, look at me thinking that it finished off. Whoops. When nobody can see what you're up to. God, I'm just reminding of that Junji Ito thing, uh, Frankenstein that says, I'm a fairy, let me in. And shadows die twice. Okay. That's what it's called. I was just going to say that fell a little short. Yeah. I was going to say, honestly, I fucked myself over. Let me in, I'm a fairy. Don't you believe in fairies? God, I, I, I only know that scene, but I need to read that whole chapter. Middle child, we need to have a session where we just read Junji Ito. Can we just do that one day? Because we seriously need to do that. Just have a day where we just read nothing but horror manga. Fucking down for that. Oh, hell yeah, please. Hey, okay, it's a star of Bethlehem. What is this? Deracine. Okay, Deracine. That's uh, from Software's new title coming Ooh. to PlayStation VR. Quite a departure. Very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet. But certainly a compelling debut, I would say. And speaking of compelling, let's get to that <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh my God! Some folks from Insomniac we sure here. That's right. do. Brian, Adam, gentlemen. Hey, I, I hate and these so guys. Weird. Holy yeah. shit, dude! So thank you guys for giving us your time. Of course, yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Um, and also, congratulations. Kind of closing out some of the show there with uh, Marvel Spider-Man. It's how pretty, does it feel? It's uh, surreal. We've been working on it for a while, so yeah. uh, it's nice to uh, be here. And obviously, we showed you. People wanted villains, so we decided we'll give you a lot of villains. And, now, uh, <laughs> and the next question is: our next question is, uh, can we play the open world? And Adam's gonna show off the That's right. uh, New York City. I mean, I don't know, Sid. What do you think? Should let's let's dive in. Yeah. Let's what dive are we talking about here? Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. We're, we're going to boot up the demo here. And this is uh, essentially one of the first... Yeah, rid of Token Girl because they weren't saying anything. Yeah. Clearly, because they're being so, dumb I mean, and just about, so ahead, existing. Yeah. The game is, you know, a lot of people were like, last year's year was like, well, was that, was that like just a major level? Them. No, like that's our, that was our Manhattan. That's our New York City. Well, and it just happened to be on like a the main story mission. But in between. Like, okay, what is going on, really? You can just swing around. I'm hating this. I'm hating this so much. Let's go to that footage because we have it running here on the the main monitor. We'll go to it in just a second. This is the beauty of the live environment. Yeah, this, oh God. Oh, this, so this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it all. Yeah, it's, it's, Adam's doing a fantastic job so far. It's been really good. Well, first of all, you're actually playing this right now. Yeah. That's right. I, I uh, want to they were there to add yeah, diversity. Oh, thank you. Um, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us. Uh, Ooh. This so I think, I mean, the big thing is, again, you know, I think okay. part of the Okay, what, what the hell is going on with this? Like, someone doesn't know how to use a goddamn microphone. Not only just a great story, but have a bunch of different activities 
in that world. And we wanted to, you know, give people who attend E3 an opportunity to experience that. So, you know, obviously we, it's a big narrative driven experience, but at the same time, a part of that superhero fantasy, especially that Spider-Man experience is living uh, within New York City and seeing that. So, um, you know, Adam is one of, uh, He's one of our combat pro players. Uh, is is this still designer. going on, or is this like the end of the Again, show, and then they're just showing awesome gameplay? That, um, as you get better with the game, I think someone's drowning. That's fine. You know, just let them drown. The same time, we don't need them to exist. And to really, uh, show off the I don't care about that. We've them. really been uh, talking about a lot since uh, we announced the game. I'm digging this, like, sticking dudes to walls and to the floor and stuff. That looks really, yeah, really satisfying. I, mean, th I think the, the thing that's been really fun in these last, you know, I would say last six oh, yeah. months since uh, we got back from the holiday break was every week I feel like I'll take the game home or I'll be playing one night and then I'll come in and say, wow, guys, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so cool. There's, no, a lot shut of up. That, there's that sandbox nature to it as well. So, I mean, obviously you can, you know, we have... You know, we're going to teach you mechanics, but we want you to experiment with, you know, his acrobatics, his webs, his gadgets, his suit powers. So combining all that stuff really allows for a lot of different gameplay and a lot of, you know, Spider-Man's a very expressive character. We want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. It's gorgeous. Too. These animations, sorry, these animations are just blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for... Nintendo Tomorrow, yes. Is this really done, or are they just fucking around? Yeah, they're fucking around right now. Oh, I mean, I think animation's definitely been one of the hallmarks of our of our company. Yeah, I think they're just you know, fucking around right now. To Ratchet, to Sunset Overdrive. Yep. And I mean, oh, wait, you're going to be there tomorrow. Oh, yes, I am. I'll send you as much info as I can. You waved your phone around in the whole studio. Exactly, we took that kind of mentality... And just, Should I just end it? Like, I don't know if this is, like, the end or not. You know, what do people want, desire from the Spider-Man experience? So, you know, it was really great as I remember um, probably around the end of the year. Because that uh, felt like that was the end of it. About the top things they want to see in Spider-Man. And they said they is want it? to feel like an Insomniac game. So I think that's I hate the these guys thing we've really layering on this last year is to have that um it feels like an insomniac game as much as it does a spider-man game and i love this traversal damn i want to see a reaction if they announced a certain game very quickly it looks like a lot of just moving around and that's when you know you've got what do you got in mind so you know how it kind of said like exper experiment kingdom hearts one was really well done though holy crud you know we're you know we're in meetings a lot and then sometimes you seem to like take a break and what i used to find myself doing was just swinging around new york city it was almost like therapeutic it's just kind of like when I play other games, I just uh, walking or running or um, or even taking a car. Just it feels so more natural now, just to swing around, swing around like Spider-Man. So it's it's definitely one of those things that has that again, just like combat, that pick and play feel. But we want players to have a level of mastery um, <laughs> as they play and get what better. What was that? Hold on a second. I'm very <laughs> interesting what so, you're saying there. So but, like uh... I said, so Adam showed off. I think he showed off the triple wire. Yeah, I think it's mastery. just gameplay now. All right, to, yeah. Uh, piece of geometry. If that's the case, I'll probably end it. Like, I'll end the stream right here because they're just fucking around and I don't really care. Like, I, I don't care enough. That is amazing. This is so cool. What's this focus? Oh, focus my dick. Thank you. But there we go. Dude, I'm so pissed. Why don't they show this during their shake? The Spider-Man info is what I wanted to see. I'm so happy right now. I, I, well, I guess you, you got to think of it like this too. They're trying to encapsulate so much in such a short period of time. They have to say everything. But, um, so far... So it was a solid press conference. They did announce a lot of good stuff that we liked. Some stuff that we didn't know. So I'm, I'm currently happy. Hope you guys are happy. But yeah, pretty much that, that pretty much seals the deal. Like I said, I will be at E3 tomorrow, hands down. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, hit up both my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm going to do my best to be as active on those as much as possible. I'm going to upload a lot of Instagram stories as well as my uh, Instagram on itself. On top of that, I'm going to be posting a lot of Twitter updates. I'm going to be also trying to get some um, gameplay footage. I apologize if it's going to be a little bit shaky or anything like that. But, uh, oh yeah, I'll let you know, Adam, pretty much, but... Jesus, this is just wow. Some goddamn trailer. This is nuts. But um I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. 
like I said, if you guys are interested, come to my social media. Uh, I'll try to keep updated as much as I can. Uh, or maybe if you want me to show something that you'd like to see, just let me know. I'll do my best to find it for you. But thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I should be also streaming next week again. I'm going to be going back to my regular schedule. I will not, I repeat, I will not be streaming on YouTube. I'm going to go back on Twitch. So today was only an exception because of um, E3. I wanted to do that, do that on my YouTube page. Check out my Twitter, my Twitch. I'm, I should be streaming that next week, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'll check you guys hopefully next week. Uh, no, thank you guys so much for coming in. I, I hope it was enjoyable for you as it was for me. I had a fun time. I, it's so nice to stream again. I missed it so much. But um, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Thank you. I really appreciate all the love. See you guys next time and take care, right?